ஹாய் வியர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு பிகினர்ஸ் டெக் ரோட் this object oriented programming it is nothing but a, a structure where programs we are going to organized around objects rather than the action and logic the other uh, programming ways like a functional procedural all those if you see more concentrate on the action logic those type of in a sequential uh, statements how it executes it will be like that it's depending on action logic but the object oriented programming language is a structure where programs organized based on the objects everything in the object oriented programming is like a focusing on objects what are objects if you see with this object oriented programming we can create models based on the real world entities like a real world entities in the sense in the real world if you see everything we can make it as a whatever the entities if you take it example a person is one entity okay is a bank account is one entity is house is one entity so like that anything any items any anything we can treat as a as a in a real world situation if you think we can make it we based on the all that real world entities in object oriented programming we can create models okay in that all objects are associated with both attributes and behavior behavior nothing but operations see in the object it's having it together it's associated attributes and behavior both together will be we are making as a, a collectively we are making as a object so this is in the object oriented programming okay so how we will do that how the world entities we can create a models with uh, 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 together as object with the attributes and behaviors together how we can do it and all we will see we can understand in a further discussions if you see about what is the in this approach in this design if you see the object oriented programming what are the advantages of this object oriented programming okay if you see is a reuse whatever the code we have written whatever the code we write we can reuse okay like and uh, like uh, earlier in a program uh, procedural language or a functional language wherever if you see you are going to write repeatedly the code wherever you required you are going to write repeatedly the code but here in the object oriented programming you no need to do a repeatedly you can reuse you can reuse so that is the one more advantage with the object oriented programming and extensibility you can extend okay uh, whatever the code you have written you no need to uh, for something if you required you no need to rewrite for a, a different you can extend the current one whatever you have you can extend like a, as we discuss like a models uh, for a real entities in which all objects associated with the attributes and behavior so that it nothing but initially we have given few attributes for our code and few behavior later if you want to give a different some more attributes some more behavior you can extend the available one it's no you no need to rewrite everything so such kind of extensibility is possible with this object oriented programming and it is very useful in making complex programs into a simpler way in this object oriented programming and as all these advantages ultimately the advantage is like it's easy to maintain our programming code whatever the code we have written so these are the major advantages with the object oriented programming okay and in this object oriented programming okay it's there are a main key concepts these are the four main key concepts in the object oriented programming abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism so these are the four important concepts in the object oriented programming we are going to discuss more detail about these concepts with the examples with the programming everything we will do it 
but just for you people at this point of time to just to understand in a simple way the abstraction is nothing but hiding the unnecessary details so we can hide unnecessary details encapsulation so data and operations on data are treated as a single unit or object see whatever we discussed like a objects are associated with both attributes and behavior in object it will be having a both attributes nothing but a data behavior it's nothing but a operations so the encapsulation is nothing but that is what so the data and operations on data both we are treating as a single unit nothing but as a object we are treating together as a single unit so that nothing but is a encapsulation we are encapsulating like a, how in a capsules the tablet capsules uh, you can see there are small uh, medicine kind of things will be inside the capsule so the way how it is all inside similar way encapsulation is nothing but we are combine treating all as a single unit like in one unit we are keeping the all the related data and operations on that data whatever the operations we can do on that data also we are putting everything as a single unit as a object so that is the encapsulation is the important concept then inheritance so the inheritance is the mechanism of basing an object upon another object you have one object based on that you can make another object with some more additional uh, attributes or behavior whatever the extensibility we were talking about in advantages the same thing it can be done with the inheritance concept the extensibility can be done with the inheritance concept so that is about the inheritance the last one is the polymorphism so the word itself says polymorphism in the sense many forms so it's nothing but it gives a ability of an object to perform in a wide variety of ways the same object can perform in a multiple ways okay how that can be done all we will discuss in detail further on but just as a concept to so understand i have just giving you a, a simple way of understanding okay so this is about the object oriented programming and its advantages and concepts now in this object oriented programming if you see the main classes and objects these are the two main aspects of this object oriented programming so these are the two important things we should know when we are doing in a object oriented programming okay fine what is a class what is a object so we discussed about objects the object oriented programming is more focused on the objects okay but what is the class if you see the class and objects okay a class is nothing but it defines the structure of the objects okay which include the attributes and behavior whatever the objects attributes behavior it the class defines the structure of that objects it's nothing but if you see in other way it's nothing but a blueprint for an object okay blueprint for object is nothing but if you see you know very well that if you want to construct a house what you will do first you prepare a plan we will call it as a blueprint and we will prepare a plan so based on the plan we will construct a house so in this way if you see the house is the object but the planning to construct that house is nothing but a blueprint to construct that house is a class understood the class is the blueprint of an object okay so the object is nothing but actually those are the runtime entities okay so example they may represent a person a place or any item whatever that must handle in a program 
So examples, person, bank account, house, car, etc. All these type of things in a real uh, time, in a real world, if you see all these entities, so those are the runtime is, uh, those are the objects are the runtime for that. Okay, if you see a quick uh, things, okay, class object. If you see, so this is nothing but, so example, if you see the class, example for a car, the, this is a class as a pattern. If we define like a, a pattern for a car, like a windows, all the design like this. And then objects, by using this class pattern, you, we can make multiple cars with a different colors, okay, different style, different uh, things. But a main pattern and blueprint, the structure, if you see, all what we define in a class, by using that, we can build a, we can create a multiple objects of cars like this, different colors, similar way. Uh, in, inside, interior, you can make a different. Okay, but the structure, if you see, the build will be like that only. Okay, the wheels, properties, maybe you can uh, have a, whatever the properties based on that. It will be like that. So that is way to understand the class and the objects. Okay, even if you see, the class is nothing but in our C shop, if you see, class is a, a type. How we learn a various data type, similar way, the class is going to be a one of the type. It is nothing but it's a blueprint for the objects. But object is nothing but a, it's an instance of that class. Here, how so this is a class as a pattern. All these cars are instances of that class. Nothing but based on this class design, whatever the variables or attributes we define, whatever the actions or operations, behavior we define, based on that, all this will be there. This is the instance of a class. Similar way, if you see, class is nothing but it's a logical representation of a data here only a logical representation here actually the data will be there in object only the data will be there but this is only a representation logical representation is a design okay if you see the whatever the things to build a plan house whatever the plan it is only a it just as a representation, but actual, the wall, whatever we design, or a kitchen, whatever we design, whatever, if you see, the actual will be when you do a house construction, right? The same way, the class here is a logical representation of data. Actually, the object will have that data. So as the class is a logical representation, it does not occupy any memory in a computer space, if you see, we know, very well, the computers will work with the memory. Computers will have a memory, various memories. So the class, whatever the class we define in object-oriented programming language, it does not occupy any memory. The memory in the sense, the runtime memory. It does not occupy any runtime memory. Okay. The program, whatever you write, that takes a storage memory. That is the different. The, because whatever the code you have written, that uh, lines, when you save the file, it will be having a, some bytes, no, that is the storage space. Here you need to understand the difference. This is a, in a object oriented programming, when it is using in a runtime, whether it occupies any runtime memory space or not. Class does not occupy any memory space, but ob object occupies the memory space. The reason here itself you can understand this is a logical representation. It's not having any data. So no need a space. Here it having a data, it need a space. We will discuss further about more in detail. What is the memory space? How uh, it need a space? We will discuss. So this is about the class. Okay. Even I will give you more detail about the example. If I take as a car, as a class, see, so this is the car is a class name and here, these are the name, color, model, or these are the 
variables nothing but this represents the attributes of the class nothing but the, for a object whatever the attributes and then these are the behavior like a, here a methods which provides the behavior the methods gives the behavior for the object okay so like this if you take this as a class as a blue free blue print for the car objects so it will be having a definition of the variables like a name color model even like a, what is the uh, uh, mileage and what is the fuel uh, like that many things uh, what is the speed current speed like that many attributes we can define for a, a car class so those are all will be the uh, attributes and then these are the behavior like a get fuel level drive drive the car apply brake fill the fuel so like that these are all the behavior of the uh, objects whatever so that we are defining what behaviors that object will have so all this is the class structure and how it given even in a technical perspective if you see what are the variables what are the methods so if you see this is the these are the variables these are the methods this is the class name okay even based on the class how the objects if you see on the top we have uh, observed like the based on the class definition we can create a multiple objects so how it like a, the object will be like example this is the class based on this if you create this one object so it will be like a name is it Tata Altroj car we created with this uh, class. Okay, color, style and silver, model XT, like that. And this behavior will be the available for this object. So you can fill the fuel and all the things based on that. This behavior you can make your coding for that object. Okay, so this is the way you can understand what is the class what is the object and also why the these two are the classes and objects are the uh, important the main aspects of the object oriented programming it's a, a clear to understand okay next if you see even these objects objects interact with each other why because we can have a multiple objects based on a real uh, world entities there will be a multiple objects even the objects can interact in the object oriented programming okay there is a, a interaction possibility so the objects one object can interact multiple objects can interact each other by calling operations on the other objects example see a car whatever the class and objects we discussed above if you see example car if you want to buy a car what we will do example a person a person want to buy a car what he will do he need to go to a dealer showroom wherever all uh, cars sold so cars cars will be selling so usually who will sell the cars a dealer is selling the cars so the interaction if you see person is one object dealer is one object car is one object so we should have an interaction between these objects because the person should meet the dealer okay and you should know the what are the brands brands available what are the various cars available okay and uh, he is going to look at the cars okay and if he buy he is going to get a registration and he once if he buy then he is going to use that car by driving the car so that is the real uh, time in a real world how the way these objects going to interact the same way in the object oriented programming also there is a possibility the objects we can make interact with other objects and we can make calling the operations on the other objects so this is the Thing. same uh, here i have given like a example like a attributes earlier whatever we gave like a name colors model like that example here name speed 
and the operations just i have given as two operations get name and get speed what is the current speed when we are driving so that kind of these are the methods these are the proper variables similar way for a dealer if you think brands and once if you get a registration what is the registration number for our car whatever we purchase so that it has a attributes like that many will be there like a dealer address okay like that many things can be as example i have given few things similar way the operations get brands get registration number similar way a person if you see is name age address so many things as understanding i am giving few here similar way operations what is his name if you want to get it what is his age if you want to get it through the methods operations we can get it and a things these are the objects and how in a real time how it interacts same way in a object oriented in a programming how we can make the objects and how we can make the interaction just we can understand here later on we are going to discuss in detail about the in a programming coding how it can be done okay now how we can do a declaring a classes we understood uh, in our uh, just discussions a class is a it's a one of the type it is a a custom type user defined type already we have a type various types provided by framework okay uh, like we know like a data types various integer type okay boolean type string type like that so many we just learnt in a previous discussions similar way the classes also is going to be a one of the type it is a user defined type we are defining the type this is not available in a framework readily available we are defining our own types whatever the types we want with the classes each class is a one type for example here if you define a class for car that is one type is a dealer if you define that is another type person if you define that is another type like that each we are going to be as a type so the way how we declare a variables of a various built in type similar way the custom types also user defined types also we can declare how we can declare the classes okay this is simple the classes if you see access modifier class identifier so these are the three a basic when you declaring a classes when you are defining a classes see access modifier here is a example we have taken as a public we will discuss more about what are the various access modifiers available in c sharp language and then the class it is a keyword we are going to use class as a keyword okay to declaring a classes or defining a classes and this is the class name is a identifier is a class name we are giving a unique identifier how the variables we are giving a unique like even the data types the built in data types if you see also both are unique names like int is a one data type int is and long is a another data type both have a different int long like that even for our class also we are going to give a one identifier is nothing but a name example simple class the class name what we are giving and then braces so within the braces we can have the all the things like a class members we will call it as a class members so what are the members fields properties methods we discussed class like a, in a top if you see in the object even in a class uh, if you see definition the example person name age is the variables and Uh, get name get is are the methods so similar way here we have a all these are a class members okay so various class members are there like a fields properties methods etc all those everything will go here we can write here so this is the defining a class now i will explain about basic class members first one fields what are fields we know variables fields are nothing but variables which are declared at class scope it means within a class 
the field may be a built in type or an instance of another class because we discussed class also is a one of the type so we can use a built in type as a field or a another class type also a field we can use okay so this is about the fields so is nothing but the instance of a class is nothing but that object whatever we how we can uh, def define a objects or uh, i will explain further now but uh, these are the fields to understand so the variables are with the built in type are a, a user different type like a class type whichever we can use as a fields then properties what are the properties so the property is nothing but it is it is one of the member so that provides a flexibility mechanism to read write or compute the value of a private fields so as i am going to what are the private fields i am going to give you the details what are the private fields and all as we discuss that is all the access modifiers i will give you after completion of this members i will give you about the various access modifiers so the private fields if we have any private fields so in the sense private in the sense those are only within the class so we are giving as a private it's nothing but we are hiding that is only a private those cannot be used outside so the public can be used outside so such kind of i am going to give you in detail but that kind of private field we can use with the properties we can use the private field values to read or write or computing based on that private field we can use the properties so the use of the property why can't you use trade the field instead of again the property the main the advantage is like a, the properties gives the protection for that class fields why because without knowledge of the object if you don't want to allow to change the values of the any of the fields you can make it as a, a fields as a private and we can expose the properties so that in the properties we can give that protection we can so that the object will know the values is changing the values are proper values they are changing or not the example earlier we discussed okay similar way uh, the things how we can like the specific value the value should be uh, other than zero we can ensure that with the properties so that is the way the properties will give a protection for the class fields okay so without knowing the knowledge it cannot be done anything so that way we can make with the help of the properties so then methods what are the methods we just noted above like a get brands get name get speed all these are we discussed as a methods right in a c sharp object oriented programming language okay so what are these methods so it is nothing but the method define the actions that a class can perform as we discuss the get name is nothing but the one of the action it will get the name as a simple to understand even we can have a complex actions but just for understanding i am giving you a get name is the one of the method so that way the methods defines the actions that a class can perform so in the methods it can take a parameters that provides the input data and also we can have a written output parameters also to give a output data so that is the one more how we can use with the methods the methods with the parameters i will explain what is the method in a practically how we can uh, define a method and how it can have the parameters all i will explain and also methods can also directly can return a value without using a parameter out without using a out parameter even directly also it can return a value but it directly when you are using 
it can return only one value with the parameters output parameters you can have multiple output parameters but when you return without using a parameter you will be returning only one value it allows only one value to return directly so these are the basic details about the methods next constructors <clears throat> so what are the constructors constructors are the methods that are called when the object is first created okay so why these constructors example if you see the here so a class is a pattern and object stars we know suppose in between if you see there will be a using a class pattern and creating a cars objects in between in a factory there will be a sequence of actions required in the factory to construct that object is nothing but to deliver the to object so like a maybe a template they will take then the pay colors whatever the colors required that colors what colors required for that particular object okay what the car uh, uh, name for that object all that a basic things the how it does similar way here now the constructors will help that okay constructors are a method that are called when the object is first created so when you create an object the constructors will call so why this constructors it gives a initialization of the object for the object it gives a initialization so that is the main purpose of this constructor okay when we create a objects so example the class is the one class car class we are going to create a tata alto so for that we need in the construction when we do when you create a object we need to initialize the values okay the car name going to be this the so the car color going to be this so like that we are going to initialize so then the car can be created and the rest of the actions can be done so the same way this constructors will help okay and this constructor is nothing but a a kind of method okay, it's a special method thank you for watching please like share subscribe to our channel for more videos